allow me to start off nino by thanking you for your time right it's it's wonderful to be on this call with you and uh, i'm looking forward to learning from your perspective so that the larger community of leaders managers can benefit from your perspectives and possibilities as well nino Venka, thank you. It's always good to have a conversation with you. I learn uh, also, so I appreciate the opportunity. Pleasure, pleasure. First off, Nino, I mean, it's it's a challenging time. We call it COVID times, right? And, and these are times where leadership is tested. What I was curious about is how has your leadership morphed during this time, Nino? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, hopefully, uh, it, 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 it's developed and and, <laughs> and continued to show some of the um, some of the, the the lessons that we've uh, we've we've acquired over the years, and also uh, continuing to strengthen those. Uh, I, I would say, you know, it, it, we've we've certainly um, emphasised uh, areas of care, mm -hmm. compassion, uh, listening, uh, and remaining calm. Remaining mm -hmm. calm particularly if it's a crisis, COVID or anything else. Mm. Uh, it's so important to, for clarity of thought, right. but also for others around you, others mm. around you and, um, you know, and, and, and being able to be there for, right. for everyone and, uh, and, and just having clear, clear thought and clear thinking. I think that's the, that's the emphasis that I would put on it, uh, Ben Cout. But I would also underscore that that, that's sort of that that that's part of the whole leadership milieu. Mm. You, you you bring that out as right. as is as is needed, and and that, that's 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 what I would uh, I would I would say. Wonderful, wonderful, and I mean, of course, what I'm also thinking, Nino, is that this is a period where the teams are struggling as well, mm. correct? And leadership is all about caring sharing but also uplifting i was curious about what uh, you had done that actually made a difference nino well uh, the team energizes me let's not forget <laughs> let's not forget the team is uh, is is also uh, performing and also de demonstrating leadership and i think we we often don't think about it that way there it's not only the we talk talk about leaders but everyone has leadership in them, sure. and it's the it's for me it's the energy that we get off each other, mm. and uh, and again being able to also uh, you, you know say that we haven't got all the answers at times, and what what better example than right. what we are what we have and what we are going through to to illustrate that, and ah. together. But what I'm convinced about is together with leadership, we'll figure it out. We'll work it out. Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, I was smiling while you were talking, Nino. I was speaking to somebody <laughs> who said, look, the teams are rallying around a crisis. This is possibly the first time I've seen people coming together as a larger team because there's a greater purpose to serve. It's, it's awesome. Oh, it's, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. And it, it just goes to show, I mean, we've talked, the word resilience comes out, mm, right? Mm. Uh, Shame on us if it needed a crisis to demonstrate that, all right, to right. or actually bring that to our frontal lobe. We we really need to we really need to uh, to to support that and empower and empower the teams. Uh, as I say, the energy comes from them. <laughs> from Absolutely. Me. Absolutely. Now, what I'm also curious about, Nino, is you're always curious, Venka. Oh, I know. <laughs> You, you have reached a certain stage of leadership, which means that you would have fought your way to come into this layer of leadership. You would have been uplifted here. Tell me a little bit about your learnings on your journey, Nino. What truly made a difference? Well, that's a big question. So I, I, I do, I, I, why, why am I not surprised from, from about that question from you, Venko? Yeah. Uh, look, I, I, I think it, it, it as I unpack that, it's, it really is around, you know, as I've l learned, grown, and also stumbled mm. and, uh, and, 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 made, and made mistakes, mm. it really is about becoming more sensitive and allowing for that learning to dwell. Right. And, uh, and, and what I call really going through a process of active reflection. 
Exactly. You know, so really deeply thinking about uh, some of the ways that, uh, you, you know, some of, some of the um, experiences that you've had sure. uh, and, and getting some guidance along the way. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think that's really, really important. Uh, you know, I've been, I've been and, and I think this is an intentional way of doing it. You've mm -hmm. got to seek out people to help you. Sure. Uh, and, and in my experience, most people want to help. <laughs> most people help. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, and, 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 that's, and that's really helped me to anchor and mm. whatever next level of experience and move on. So you, you, to me, a solid foundation and, and rebuilding if it needs to and making it stronger is a really important part of that. Um, of, uh, that and I, I don't like the word climb, uh, Venkat. I, mm. I prefer... <laughs> you know, to continue to sort of build on 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 a, on a concentric sort of experiential base, because I, I don't think there's, I, I think this climb in, indicates it's got to go up. I don't think up is the only direction. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Now, every leader needs to become better, uh, Nino. <laughs> How do you become a better leader? <laughs> I, uh, I, I, uh, I seek inputs from a number of different uh, areas, uh, uh, books, reading, mm. uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I've built a very uh, uh, intentional uh, and important connection globally uh, yeah. with, uh, uh, with, with other uh, uh, people that I find of interest. I've, I've, I've developed this over a number of years and mm. Uh, it, and it's varied. It's very, very diverse. It's not only in leadership, but it's in other areas of um, of life, very which good. help to continue to keep you uh, keep you curious. Mm. And, uh, I mean, I'm a scientist by training, so I guess curiosity is. Uh, <laughs> is I was a scientist. Let me say very clearly. <laughs> so, not a good one. Not a good one. Not a very good one. That's why business. Scientists so got you here. Leadership got you there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that, that curiosity, I think, is important uh, to 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 continue to 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 sort of understand mm. why and and what can we what can we do about it. And and I, I've I've really been encouraged by many 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 people that I've um, that I've met along the way. Mm. And um, and also again, that active reflection really helps. Um, right. Thanks to. Um, continue to help um, help help your learnings yeah absolutely now one of the things that i have discovered me know is that when you reach a certain level there are what we call the pressures of leadership mm -hmm. which also means that nino has to take care of himself right of which means getting your body mind heart and soul together and aligned i'm curious about how you do that, you know? I, so I'm really happy you mentioned the soul. Uh, I, just, <laughs> I, I, I just think that again, the inner, the inner, your inner peace. You mm. there's nowhere to hide, right? So I think when, why you, you so you allow yourself time. You need to allow yourself time to mm. feel and to to understand what what's happening, and you know, and and. and I guess finding that and determining what 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 works for you to to help you uh, uh, discover that or reconnect mm. with that, whether it's meditation, I mean, it's, you know, whether it's other mindfulness programs, fresh air, uh, a hobby. Right. Uh, I, I think they're the they're the important things that uh, that refresh, re-energize, um, and 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 reconnect. Mm. Help you connect most importantly with yourself how could you be of benefit to anyone else if you're not looking after yourself beautiful beautiful that's yeah, that's I, the key right do you i mean and of course do you exercise every day nino i mean well event card you're too you're, you're too you're too generous um <laughs> and uh, the ideal day is today was not an ideal day for example i had a very early call and Blame then, it on <laughs> And so uh, the other other things that were happening because I, I I run a global global organisation, so things out of your control. But I, I think you, a routine or try to get as close to a routine, exercise, uh, uh, healthy thinking, um, mm -hmm. eating, uh, and 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 in, and also having fun. Someone reminded me yesterday. You know, it's important to have fun. And I said, you, you're absolutely right. Now he he sent me 
a photograph of some costume event that we went to and he said this is what fun this is what you demonstrate and i forgot that mm. so that's what people 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 are good they re-energize you and they remind you of the things that that you should be doing and, and we should have fun right Venkat along the absolutely. way absolutely absolutely in fact i'm reminded of something called the fool archetype mm. which is all about not taking yourself too seriously actually yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some of the best yeah. leaders spoke fun on themselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, you mentioned you mentioned the heart, and uh, you know, again, did we? Did, wow, did we? Were we challenged in the last? Are we still challenged in this period that around? Uh, you know, just just what's going on. So it's, we, let's be grateful for whatever we have, and uh, and 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 be generous. Be generous. Uh, mate. Sure. Be generous. The, those are beautiful words, Nino. Right? Feel grateful. Be generous. Mm -hmm. Right? That's wonderful. Wonderful. Now, you are at a certain stage, and this is not the end of the road. Nino is destined for higher. Now, how, when do leaders decide to go ahead and say, hey, I'm going to move to the next rung of leadership, right? What, what triggers that move, Nino? Well, uh, again, I, I don't, I don't like to think about it as the next run because I think that indicates a certain trajectory, which I, I, I do believe is. I, I just don't. I just don't think that that's that's the. I don't think that way. So whether it's the only way, but that's me. I, I think it's when you. You know, if, let me give you some. When I when I start, I'm sitting at my home office desk and I've got a draw on the bottom left hand. On the left hand side, I've got a draw with all the old fashioned files, right? Stuff that I don't, have, <laughs> stuff that I don't have a soft copy on. If I go back to my files and look at the recipe and, and I have to redo the recipe and I've done it before and I've done it again, I said, well, that's, that's not fun. That's mm. not, um, what's the, what's, I mean, it works, right? But I, am I challenging myself? Am I, I don't want to be content. Mm. So when you're not content, when you're, when you're content, mm. I think that that is uh, an opportunity for you to stretch yourself and, and, right. and also find what's the next experience. So I, I prefer to look at it as, the, an, as an experiential climb. Mm -hmm. I, I think I said that before, Venkat. Right. And right. Um, and you'll know. I know. I know when that when that happens. Um, uh, I've, I've had it happen in my career, uh, and uh, it's a, it's it's a great thing. And in fact, I encourage. You know, I, I had a cop ready crucial conversation with my manager at the time. Uh, and, and, you know, it led to me furthering, I did some more study and also did, um, uh, had an opportunity to discover other things and um, work on, work on, uh, and, and eventually I left that organization and, um, and did something else. Now, I, I, I think that's a positive thing. I think that's really positive. Uh, you know, you, 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 I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I don't want to be irrelevant. Mm, beautifully put. Beautifully. Re re relevance, relevance is important. Uh, mm. In yeah, you know, you've, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to make a difference and continue to make a difference. And uh, how better, how better way to do that if uh, as to be relevant? Very nice, very nice. Let's step back a little bit, Nino. Not everything in this world is perfect, and in the life in corporate world is all about politics. I'm curious about your approach to politics, Nina. Uh, again, another powerful question, uh, Venkat. So um, I'd say I'm, 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 not, I'm not good at politics. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I don't see, I, 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 it, it's important. It's mm. part of, as you say, it's part of, uh, if we talk about corporations, part of corporate life, I guess it's how, what, where you see it on the, mm. on the, on the, the scale and we'll look, we'll look at it, you know, bad to good or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good at it. So I haven't, I haven't, I don't think about it a lot, but, um, I, I try and understand what, why, why are we, um, yeah, well, why, why are we involved in it? Why, why are we doing it? And is there, mm. and, and trying to lift myself above that and say, well, what's it, how do I right size mm. the, I mean, politics is usually around perhaps some tension around boundaries or mm. budget or 
you know, priorities. So maybe maybe try and right size the issue and say, well, how do we how do we how do we all get a piece of the pie? Mm. You know, how do we mm. how do we all uh, understand what what we can do better? And are we and continue to anchor ourselves around the values and the way we want to work and the um, and the and the vision and what we're trying to do now. Look, I'm a realist as well. The realities are sometimes it, it just is what it is, right? Ben Cut, let's just, it's not, it, it's, it's real, not ideal, right? It's the real world. Exactly. exactly. But I, I, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm probably not the best person to give you a, uh, the learned answer you may be looking for on that <laughs> no, one. No, no, not at all. Not at all. It is just that, I mean, like you said, there is manipulative politics, there is constructive politics. Um, I guess depending on what your makeup is, uh, if you're in one of those ones that you don't like, do something about it. Yeah, you know, which right. means you may want to rethink where you're working. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> this is very useful, Nino. I want to step into a few other areas as well. Now, there is so much of technology, there is so much of change happening all around us that a lot of organizations are talking about this spirit of entrepreneurship, right? How can it be kindled at every level in the organization? I was curious about your thoughts around entrepreneurship within organizations, Nino. Uh, very important. Um, so innovation, uh, creative thinking. Uh, in fact, uh, a, a friend, a colleague reminded me, uh, actually informed me just this week, uh, De Bono, the father of, uh, of lateral thinking, uh, passed mm. away, and uh, I've got one of. I, I went to a seminar in two thousand and something. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, again, very important because creativity, lateral thinking, uh, you know, not group think is is mm. really important, and encouraging that and building an ecosystem that helps to uh, foster that. And uh, we did. A, so again, let's talk about the anchoring we've done over the last 12 months and we're still doing in, in the pandemic. We're piloting a lot of things. We're reimagining the new way of work, whatever that is. Right. Uh, I, I've also tried to, I, I like the new a, a word that I heard used with reference to that just the other day, pilot. Mm. You know, so we can then determine how we scale. Mm. Well, that emphasizes that it's going to work and we're going to, we want to, we want to make it even bigger, but probably the word experiment and going back to my scientific training, <laughs> probably experiments a good one because they're from, we learn a lot from mistakes or we learn a lot from failures and experiments really gives, gives a lot of latitude to people to try things, mm. try things, right? And that's where I think some of the, 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 um, the entrepreneurship is, uh, is really important and, in, and encouraging. So we as leaders, Mm -hmm. Need to make space for that. Need to encourage, right. provide budgets, beautiful tolerance, mm. uh, support, coaching. You know, all all those things are are important. And pick people up when it when it doesn't work. It's okay because it'll it'll be better next time. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Beautiful. Beautiful. In fact, I mean, I get reminded of something called fail fast initiatives. The experiments that you're talking about, right? Yeah. within a quarter try and fail and let's see let's there's pick a, it up there, there is a book on this shelf called uh, uh maxwell i think is the author fail forward so again mm. the concept is yes fail fast but you know you fall and you think about it you fall forward right and so <laughs> i like the analogy and hopefully don't hurt yourself when, when you're doing that but um you know fail forward it's uh, anchor and move on mm. uh, but we we have to be accepting of that then mm, mm. uh, in some ways the um you know we should we should and and another way of looking at it is if we're not pushing the boundary right hard enough well and we're not making as some mistakes well it's probably not close enough to the boundary right it's probably too safe absolutely absolutely i'm thinking i mean with all of this innovation you know there's this concept of diversity as well diversity is a lever for innovation what are your thoughts about building diversity within your leadership you know diversity of thinking is really important diversity of determination mm -hmm. uh Benkart, you know uh i i um it's it's crucial mm -hmm. there's 
there is our group think is not what we want. <laughs> I, um, you know, I'm really uh, encouraged that we're, we're having a global conversation in the business world and other uh, areas around that. Mm. Because it can only only can, and we know it. Uh, it's certainly more diverse thinking and and, and diverse views uh, just get a better outcome in whatever mm. in whatever we do. We we accept each other. We understand. We learn about each other, and mm. we um and, and we we make the world a better place. Then can't we make the world a better place? So really important, uh, and we've got to continue to work hard at it because there's a long way to go still. Long way to go. Very well. Very nice. Now, just stepping back into your experience of developing other leaders, Nino, what have you discovered are some of the common blind spots in leadership? Something you have learned from your experience, but others are still grappling with it or uh, coming to terms with it. What, what are some of the common blind spots in leadership you're discovering? I think accepting, uh, truly uh, accepting that uh, that the, the feedback that uh, uh, people do provide, mm. and, and committing to doing something about mm. it. Mm. Right? Uh, uh, that's the that last part is the real important, the action part of it. Right? That's the action part of it. So, you know, and and. A really good process is as that person commits to it, what a beautiful thing would be for the observer to be there to help them recognise when they have made the effort to change or to incorporate what they've been highlighted or put the mirror up to and try to do it better next time. And then they then they observe back and say, "Hey, you know what? I did see you try there. It wasn't quite where it needed to be, but mm. keep trying. Or yes, that was good. That was much better. I can see that. Uh, I can see that you've um, you, you you've tried to you know approach it in a different way. So I think that when that gets better as a mm. as a as a feedback loop, Benkar, mm. blind spot becomes um, becomes clearer." Mm. And um, and you're open to to the to the change and, and just getting better. So I, I find that that's a good that, that is that your question was what that's missing. If, if mm. that's missing, really hard to, uh, to 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 move on. Yeah. Right, right, very good. In fact, I mean you, you're absolutely right. I mean it's it's not just the feedback; it's actioning it, and somebody to support you on that journey. Right, and that's like a good coach, like a good coach on a on a on a on a sporting team, right? Absolutely. It's it's not it's you know the old school was you know don't do that. Well, that that's a that that's a <laughs> that that's a that's a lot of benefit, isn't it? Right. So rather no, have, have a have a go at it this way. But then you know when they do see that play, that's the right play. That's exactly mm. what we to see. You know, that's how you went to, about to do it. So I think that's no different in business, right? Very nice. Very nice. I just wanted to circle back to something that we started off, Nino, which is all about people who have been with you on this journey. Right. In wrapping up this conversation, allow me to go ahead and ask you about one or two pieces of advice that people gave you that truly changed your or, or morphed your leadership style. Uh, first of all, the, the um, you you um, you you're asking me to to remember some precious times in my life because at those moments it's just the most uh, and if you have the opportunity to actually realise it at the time. So what was said to me was important, but but the way it was said to me was even more important. Beautiful, beautiful. It, it, they genuinely cared about me. Mm. And, and so, of course, the the the, the content that was 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 there, mm. uh, but the motive the motive as to why they were why they were taking the time to uh, 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 allow me to to really think about it and understand and listen clearly 
mm. uh, what what was uh, what was being uh, um, observed or um, you know some of the some of the uh, guidance. Mm. Uh, I will never forget. Uh, in fact, some of my dearest uh, dearest uh, colleagues, friends around the world, uh, you know, are, are, are people like that. And uh, I've, I've got them. I'm very fortunate. I've got them around the world, and uh, we. I, I can. I connected with one recently who was probably 15 years I haven't we haven't spoken and uh, we, we picked up on a phone call like it was yeah in his office <laughs> years ago it was just beautiful um, it Venkat it's just I can describe it as just beautiful it's absolutely. a beautiful story. absolutely the very last question Nino is all about purpose now every person has a purpose how did Nino discover his larger purpose? Uh, by uh, by by trying a, trying some <laughs> trying some um, what we think needs to be the purpose mm. profit um, gain uh, uh, seniority title and working out that that's not it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so trial and error, I think, is important there, um, Venkat. Mm. Uh, it's about identifying, you know, what you what you want to be, what you are good at, mm. and working hard to be the best in the world at it. <laughs> Beautiful. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. But it's a it's a long and enjoyable, correct? Some frustrating uh, process. And I'm not saying I'm there, mm. but I the journey is really important. Uh, and you know, you'll know, you'll know where when you know you hear this, you hear this often. It's a, it's another really really good question. You hear this often, and some of the I'm sure both of us and others, you, we the ones the leaders we admire the most. You know, when and we hear about their their journey, it's just we're just in awe of, of mm. what they've done and and the achievements, and we think, wow, what we 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 we're just this <laughs> and where do they get the, the the energy and the appetite and the and, and the vision and, and the you know, the commitment and they've got the purpose they've worked out the purpose right absolutely absolutely wouldn't that be an aspirational goal to achieve one day right <laughs> definitely definitely a purpose that's much larger than ourselves and then go out and achieve them right <laughs> You know, if you work in an organization or you can surround yourself with an ecosystem that allows you to, to achieve or mm. to try and get to that purpose, right? that's a nice thing, isn't it? That's nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. And to, and to leave what we call as a global footprint, right? To, to, to make the world a better place, right? Wonderful. In the spirit of what connects the two of us, Nino, let's go ahead and share a book that we are reading right now. Nino has the pleasure and privilege of going first. <laughs> so so my, my book is, uh, are you over, over, am I overthinking this? Mm. It's a pictorial uh, mm. from uh, a, a very talented uh, uh, person in New York. Mm. And uh, I like it because it's uh, it's an easy read. It's very visual, <laughs> but it's it challenges it challenges. It's put it puts together different uh, like a matchstick, and mm. it'll make a story out of it, mm. or it'll and it'll put together things that we see common in common every day, and it helps us look at it in a different way. And you know, you may be overthinking it. It's only a matchstick, right? <laughs> That's the purpose of. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, don't, don't take yourself too seriously. You mentioned it before. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I, um, I, uh, I pulled that one out especially for you, Ben Carl. Oh, so, uh, so <laughs> because it, uh, it also is important to to feed all parts of our brain. And, uh, absolutely, absolutely. And thank you for sharing that, Nino. In the spirit of sharing, allow me to share what I'm reading now. It's called <laughs> Super Thinking. <laughs> So in a way, it's all about uh, some of the blinkers we have on and how frameworks can be mental models that helps us to widen the boundaries of our thinking as well. Mm -hmm. 
right? So, so in a way, I think, I mean, both of us are saying the same thing. You're looking at the right side of the brain. I'm operating on the left side of the brain. And you know that the future belongs to the right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, thinking, Benkat, if we created a virtual book club here or something, what have we? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and we could pocket all of these, right? To go ahead and say, hey, which book for what? <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Allow me to say with all gratitude, Nino, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for openly sharing what's made you greater and to go ahead and share what's, what's helped you on this journey as well. In thank, fact, you, thank you. Other was a, lead, yeah, a pleasure. Pleasure, Nino. You know, other leaders who go through this will certainly benefit from your perspicacity and perspectives as well. Thank you, Benkhan. I appreciate the work that you do and also um, you know, getting closer to that uh, 1 billion by 2030. <laughs> <laughs> pleasure, pleasure. Thank you. I value our relationship. Look forward, Nino. <laughs>